great news this morning for you, Alex Mallis. Joining the season's long loan, you must be thrilled with that. Yeah, delighted. You know, it was disappointing losing Tav. I think we all we all understood that, but life goes on. We move on, and uh, we've moved on to a very good player. You know, 300 league appearances in the championship. Um, so uh, posi- plays the position really well. Experienced boy. Um, uh, tasted success knows it knows what it's like to, to win to win um, great character good left foot um, good technical player um, and as all the characteristics that we, we were looking for it was a small list to replace Tav as you can imagine um, we felt we needed experience in there and, and thanks Steve uh, and West Brom for for allows the opportunity to as well you know he's having to wheel and deal um, so um, you know, but we've got a, a great reference from Steve on, on, on Alex. We couldn't guarantee him games and um, and obviously he comes into our group and we're looking forward to working with him. And it's like you've, you've said before, round pegs and round holes. Left foot in midfield, uh, fits the bill for you. Yeah. And, and in terms of replacing Tav, fits the bill. Yeah, um, distance is covered um, in terms of, uh, you know, creativity in, in that sort of position. Uh, you, know, you know, played in a in, in a side at Barnsley. He was the he was the main actor there, and they had an outstanding season under Ishmael in terms of getting to um, in, into the into the playoff semi final um, uh, against the odds. Um, and I think everybody knows if you want if you want to play for for that guy, you've got to run around and work hard, and you have to have a good work ethic. And he has, but I think you know there's, there's more to 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 Alex's game than just running around and putting a tackle in. Um, as I said, gives us experience, knows his way around the championship, and it gives us a quality in that position. And is he available for tomorrow? Yeah, he is. Yeah, I mean, good. Um, it, it, as, as I've just said, there, uh, it's um, listening to to Frank Lampard, and he was talking about sort of the difficulties that uh, not just him, and I imagine a few um, clubs have in terms of managing the minutes and you know not breaking players early on in uh, early on in uh, in the season <clears throat> and especially when you have players coming in at different times of, of 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 pre-season and even at the start of the season so the good thing about Al is that he's done a full pre-season and he's played games he played 90 minutes against Sheffield United on on on, on Thursday he's been involved in all the pre-season games as well didn't get involved in the, in in the first two league games obviously was sub uh, against us got on um, I'm not sure from in in the second game he he, he got on against Watford, um, so he's 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 ready ready to go ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Um, just in terms of you know you, you were the transfer business you said you know you wanted to do at least around about four or five, but that area of the of the, of the field is effectively boxed off now. You're just focusing on defenders and forwards. Now. Yeah, there was ob- uh, there was objectives right right the way through at the start of pre season. You have to have a plan, and, and 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 we did. That plan doesn't change as we talked about in terms of the numbers, uh, in terms of the positions, the one that you 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 have to react to and, and plan as well, and 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 have a little bit of a uh, you know a, a backup plan is if you lose one of your players that you're not really expecting to lose. I know there was a bit of talk about Tab going, but. Um, you know, we had, we had a list of, of players, but you know, that's quite a you know specialised position in terms of how we want him to play as well. And then you've got a, you know you've got the scenario. You know, do you want a younger one or or what else is available? So I think you know we're we're, we're delighted in terms of what what we've got from 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 uh, from Alex and the deal that we've got. A committed player, know a lot about him, which is good, and wanted to come as well, which is which is even better. Um, and still there, yeah. Now, now we're ticking them off, and uh, I'm sure we'll tick a few off before the end of um, end of the window. And that's the nature of the window, isn't it? It always it always feels like a moving project. You always have to have those contingency plans in place. Yeah, it's just a, just a moving. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, and and I think without going over uh, old old sort of stories and and, and old um, comments that I've that I've made, I still think it's ridiculous that. That we're still at this time having to having to be worried um, and 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 careful and and, and work um, when really we should be you know setting our team down and knowing what we've got and moving on from that. There is a game to be played this weekend, though, of course. Obviously, Sheffield yep. United. Uh, how's how's training been this week and how's things looked? Obviously, post post match. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you know, we have to move move on uh, from from the QPR um, result. 
you know, when you when you look back and you take a take a step back and you reflect, you know, I think quite a lot of good things have happened over the last two league games as well. Um, and there's some things that we definitely need to work on, um, and and the mistakes that we've made. Um, we've not been under under constant pressure apart from possibly, you know, ten minutes, ten or fifteen minutes at QPR and maybe ten or fifteen minutes against West Brom. So you know. We'll take that as a positive, but the negative is that we've got one point out of six, so we're here to play well, but we're here to win as well. So uh, we've got to marry both of those things up. Um, it is it is a game of, of, of creativity uh, and making opportunities, and it's a game of mistakes. And I think if you look really, I know you 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 you'll always from a from an opposition point of view think that's a really good goal. We think all three goals, and possibly all four goals that have gone in uh, against us in the two league games are really poor goals from our point of view. So we've certainly got to tighten up and I'm sure we will um, as the season moves on. Um, but we, we we will make mistakes, everybody makes mistakes, but we need to cut them cut them down to a minimum uh, to give ourselves an opportunity of of of, 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 of turning a, a loss into a draw and a draw into a win. Just the last one from me. Any kind of knocks or bumps? There has been a couple, yeah. Um, that's the reason why you know maybe the the side looked looked like it did on Wednesday. There was always going to be changes, and I think you know people have talked about the championship, especially the amount of changes that that, that were made uh, in midweek for for that competition, um, and even from League One point of view. I think the Sheffield Wednesday I said afterwards the Sheffield Wednesday Sunderland game. Sheffield Wednesday made eight changes. So I think that's you know these early rounds of of, of, of the league cup always see this sort of scenario. Uh, Sheffield United and West Brom made changes as well. So um, um, so but bumps and bruises, yeah, of course. Um, but um, fingers crossed that we'll uh, we'll have a competitive side that can go out um, and, and hopefully produce a performance and get the result that we're all we're all after. Cheers. I'm sure the attitude and preparation for the game is, is no different to any other Chris and you might play it down but this one does mean a little bit more to you does it? The attitude and preparation is no different to any other game period full stop it is yeah so it, it has to be uh, you know there's obvious connections but it, it doesn't it, I'll, the level of, of, of trying <coughs> to win uh, a, 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 any game doesn't doesn't drop and he's always at full tilt for me. Yeah, and I mean, does is there anything more in the game for you because of you know what went off last season at Bramall Lane and how that day was? No, 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 that's gone. That's that's history. That's that's last season. We're on to a, 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 a fresh team. Uh, from our point of view, we're on to a fresh season. Um, so um, that season finished then, and uh, Sheffield United got in the playoffs, and we didn't. Um, you know, we had we had a fantastic run. It got to seventh and, and kept our season alive to the last game of the season. Which I thought, really, when you look back, was uh, you know better achievement than maybe it looked at the time. Um, but that season finished on that day for us. It finished a couple of weeks later for them. Um, and that's that's how that's how I look at it. This is a fresh start, a brand new season. We've got one point out of two games, and, and we need to add to that on on Sunday afternoon. Yeah, and, and you know clearly, as you say, Sheffield United were up there last season. Borough were up there last season, and the expectations are that both will be again this season. So you know, another tough game. Yeah, uh, listen, it, it, there's always going to be sort of favourites um, for 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 promotion and and people teams that are fancy for for numerous reasons, for for historical reasons, for 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 maybe changes in coaches and managers, maybe site new signings. Um, uh, maybe uh, of what happened last season, uh, maybe uh, relegation out of the Premier League, maybe maybe parachute payments, maybe uh, you know relegation recently out of the Premier League and people keeping their squads intact, which obviously Sheffield United have done to the to the to the main really. I think only lost sort of Aaron Ramsdale really um, out of the team that that, that that dropped out of the Premier League. So you know, and a lot of talk about. Sort of the strength of the, the the teams that that do get relegated and the parachute payments and advantages of that that uh, that that they have, but we have to get all over all those hurdles as well. Whoever whoever we're playing, um, and I think everybody recognises that you know nothing is given and you don't get an advantage just because 
of you're a big club uh, or all the things that I've talked about. Um, you've got to get over things and you've got to make sure that you approach every game in a consistent manner from a mentality point of view um, and from how you go about the business. And that's going to be the key to anybody who wants to be successful this season is the consistency in everything they do. Yeah, and, and obviously it's difficult in that sense for yourself, as we've discussed with you, still building your squad to the one towards the end of this month and the end of the winter. I mean, you know, is is this period just a period of kind of getting through these games and getting as many points as you can? One hundred percent. Yeah, you know, I, I I keep saying it's the thing that I've always said to you, even when I first walked in. I I know what I know what good looks like, and I know what I want how I want it to look here. There's absolutely no no doubt about it in terms of uh, that. And how, how, and how I see it, and uh, are we where I see it? Uh, have we improved? Yeah, in in in, in a few bits. Uh, are we where I wanted to see it? Where 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 you know I'm confident uh, uh, and, con and and confidence in the consistency. Uh, confident that we can do that. Not at the moment. No, if, if I'm being totally honest. Uh, and I thought that showed last last Saturday. You know, good performance against West Brom. First half, you know, can see some really poor goals on the back foot, and then you get a, you know, a second half performance like that. So, I don't think we're a million miles off. You know, it's not, it's not major surgery. You're not taking the wrecking balls to everything and knocking everything down, but there's still a hell of a lot of work that needs to go in on a, on a lot of fronts, and we're we're still building um, six months into it, um, but we still want to win at the same time, and uh, you know, nobody's going to go. Uh, into into the ground on 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 Sunday afternoon and and say well don't worry about it you know because uh, you know you are you are still they want to win our supporters want us to win uh, I want to win and the players want to win so you know uh, and then we're up up against opposition that that I know will uh, because of the characters I know in that change room will definitely want to win too. Yeah, on the building side, you mentioned that you had a meeting with Steve Gibson earlier in the week, and you know you managed to get a player in this morning, and Alex, and you know clearly with other things that the club are trying to do, it's you know evident that Steve is still you know really ambitious and, and really supportive towards you. One hundred percent. There's no there's no doubt in 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 my mind regard regarding that. Um, it, it doesn't happen overnight. Um, it, it doesn't happen just because we want it to happen. Um, we have to make it happen, and we have to be patient, and we have to pick the pick the right deals uh, and uh, and make sure that happens. But this, you know, I was, and I think everybody understands that we was brought and attracted myself and the coaching staff to the football club with the with the ambitions of where we wanted to take it. But it's it isn't as easy as just saying, well, you know, we want to be in the Premier League. Got to be a lot of work that goes into it, um, and sometimes there's there's tough little periods that you've got to battle through, and you've got to battle through together. And we're all battling through it together on the same page. Um, that is the good thing for me that there's no different agendas. There's no people wanting to do one thing and wanting to do the other, um, or, or you know, we're we we've, we've all got the same agenda. We've all got the same same vision. We've all got the same plan. Is to is is to get better players into the football club. It's as simple as that, um, and we all believe we're good coaches and we're good managers. You know, I don't think there's a, a lot of difference between a lot of managers and a lot of coaches. Um, sometimes a little bit of luck. Some some are better than others, understandable, because that's how that's how it works. Some are a little bit more experienced than others, but eight times, nine times out of ten, it's it's how good your players are and what uh, what quality you can get in and uh, and how and how uh, strong uh, your your squad is and how much depth of depth it has to it so you know we all want to bring good players in and we all want to make that s squad a really strong squad and it has depth and balance and pace and different attributes and we're all wanting to produ produce that and deliver that um but sometimes, you know, it can't be done just straight away. And, you know, you just have to sometimes, you know, take a little bit of pain. And, and maybe we're just having to take that little bit of pain uh, at this particular moment. Uh, but we're, we're fighters. We all are. The, the owner, as you know, is a fighter. And um, myself, the staff and the players are. And, and we just have to battle through this period. And I, what, I, what I would say is, which I, which I would, I, I think... People would would recognise and, and and want to give us is give us the backing, 
um, you know, and, and really help us through this little little period. Because there's times where it'll be changing and, and we'll start the ball rolling and we'll set everybody off in terms of the performance that we have. And there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that we will we will do that when we get everybody in. At this at this particular moment, you know, for me, uh, the backing of the supporters would be much appreciated. That isn't a criticism to say we haven't, but you know, stay with us through this little period, and I'm sure that uh, we'll, we'll we'll get through it. When the windy shorts will be better and stronger than what we are, um, and we'll we'll move forward and we'll produce not produce consistent performances, uh, and and for me that'll that'll end up in um, in some top results. And, and and just within that, in terms of you know going through the the tricky period of battling, obviously you know negotiating on a few fronts on on, on transfers etc. And I guess you know important that there's that little bit of patience as well because the club don't want to be overpaying for players. Which we could have done. We could have done ten deals, but we'd have overpaid. Some clubs just overpay, and then deal with the consequences. We could have done. We could have been set here, sat here, and uh, you wouldn't have had to ask me a question about recruitment because it all been done. But what would have been done is overpaying, um, putting ourselves in a, a in a poor financial position, and gambling massively um, with immediate future and long term future. You know, we could quite easily do that. Could quite easily go and do that and. And then break rules, and then do this and do that, and work you work your way around it, and dodge dodge some bullets here, and and cut corners there. You can't you can't you can't do it. You it's just as it is. You can't do it. But it easily done half a dozen deals with centre forwards, with midfield players, with left centre halves. You know, and and we're looking, and manager sat here and going, I'm all right, brilliant. I've got what I've got, but. As we know, what happens is that you know the consequences and the um, the knock-on effects of the big gamble has to be picked up by by well I know who, who will have to pick it up and he won't want to pick it up because he, he doesn't want to do it that way or somebody else will have to have to pay the price down the line and uh, I don't think really that's the way uh, a football club should be run and I'm I'm. I am, and maybe possibly, uh, the most important person in this sort of situation because I could quite easily go, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, and everything looks good, and we get a result on Sunday, and we get a result next week, and this, that, and the other. Then the wheels fall off, and then somebody else has to pick it up. I'm comfortable with this situation, and I think that's possibly the most important thing. Yeah, because of course, the flip side, you have been there a couple of times, haven't you? Where you know, clubs haven't been in a great financial position without being an expert. What happened? Yeah. <clears throat> why that happened? You know, you felt it. Felt it. Talked about it at the. Uh, talked about it at the fans forum. You know, people lose their jobs. People that have been working at the football club for for thirty, thirty five years lose their jobs. Local contractors don't get paid. Go out of business. Everybody gets bumped, gets shafted. You know, football club, then loses points. Blah blah blah, slides, relegation, bang bang bang. So yeah, I understand it. And uh, people are happy at the time. Supporters are happy, and maybe a touch of a slight criticism of sometimes how supporters think they're quite happy for everybody to spend um, and live in the moment. Like I said about maybe the Portsmouth situation, they lived in that moment of winning the FA Cup. And being in the UEFA Cup, UEFA Cup, and having about fifteen guys on over hundred grand a week with a, in a ground that holds holds about fourteen thousand, fourteen thousand, fifteen thousand really passionate supporters, and then all of a sudden, a bomb goes on up, off underneath it, and uh, next minute, they're uh, they're in the old the old League Two and trying to get out of it. Yeah, and uh, just just lastly from me, Chris, obviously the condition inside of of certain players. Um, here, obviously, uh, Akpom Four has managed to get a Good. few extra minutes. You've had a chance to look at Hoppy in training. How how have those kind of players been? Looking? Yeah, we've 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 been pleasantly surprised regarding Matt um, in terms of his conditioning and and um, and the messages that we've had from from the American U.S. national side. You know, he's a he's a really good athlete. Um, 
So uh, and the and the sort of the data that we've got back from from Real Mallorca, um, just uh, just same again. You know, um, we have to be careful. I don't want to lose anybody. I can't lose anybody for four or six weeks. I can't lose Tuba. I can't lose Marcus. I can't lose Duncan. I can't lose Matt. Uh, and and be out. I've lost Josh, but that was an impact injury. Can't do anything about that. I can't afford. I think you know. To be fair, yet again, touch wood. Um, we have a consistent injury record, which was which is very good. I think you know, if a couple of the players come through sort of today um, and, and and available for selection, we're only going to have Josh out injured, who's um, was obviously um, um, you know four to six weeks away to get him back, and it was an impact injury. So um, and obviously goes hand in hand with with what happened last season as well. Cheers, Craig. Cheers, Craig. Chris, you brought you brought in. Uh, uh, Alex, as a replacement, direct replacement for Marcus Bell. They're not carbon copies of each other. What no. are the differences? Well, nobody's a carbon copy. You know, Alex has got 300 league games under him and and had a promotion and, and Marcus hasn't. So I don't want to, you know, people uh, to to sort of, you know, uh, and, and, they, and they will, of, of course, which is, which is only natural, but they're different types of players, but they've got a lot of similarities as well. They both want to win. They're very technical. Um, Alex, as I said, got 300 league appearances inside him. Um, tenacious, experienced, good energy, and good in that position. So you want to get as close to um, what we how we wanted it to be. Listen, there's certain parts of of Tav game that we we um, we wanted him to be better at, of course. But Tav's gone, so uh, Al, Al comes in and and plays left midfield in an eight and can play as a two. Um, in a in a two man midfield, so you know gives us and gives us experience as well. So we'd like to get him. I guess you you, you mentioned all sort of players during your managerial career. I guess uh, if you had to name your, your your top ten favourites, Billy Sharp would be right up there. Yeah, it was yeah it was um, outstanding um, character and talisman in 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 what was um what was a, a fabulous period for the football club. It, when, when you is he. The best strike you've ever managed, and when you bring in strikers, do you always hope that person's going to be the best strike you've ever managed? Yeah, you you want every player to be the best player you've ever managed, and if we can get a few few more of them, then we've got half a chance. <laughs> so if we get eleven of them, then we've got a very good chance. But uh, without putting words into your mouth, you'd love to think that Marcus or Matt could Matthew could have a career something similar to Billy. Yeah, well. It, they're they're at the they're at the start of their their career and uh, and, and Billy's at the uh, well he, he wouldn't like me saying it but obviously he sort of he, he keeps going and um, and to and to keep going in the way the way he does shows what not just you know what sort of uh, a, a, a good player an important player he is but from a characteristic point of view as well.